to, you guessed it, another episode of The Shirtless Painter. Anyone can paint, and anyone can paint anything, including my special guest, uh, my good friend and fellow artist, Haley Joel Osment. Hello. <coughs> Excuse you. Haley, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I'm very excited to paint with you, and to tell you that you and I actually have a middle name in common. My full name is Shirtless Joel Painter. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a great middle name. So in honor of Haley's uh, visit over to my room, this is where I sleep, um, we are each going to be painting today our ideal bedroom. Haley, I know you probably have a lot of, you know, you've probably seen a lot of bedrooms in your day. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey. It's a big part of the movie business is, yeah. you know, seeing bedrooms, million bedrooms, scouting bedrooms, being in bedrooms. Um, so today we're just going to let our imaginations run wild and paint our dream bedroom. And we invite you to take off your shirt and paint along with us. We'll be flashing some of the colors on the screen. Uh, and let's jump right in. All right. The first thing I want in a bedroom, sort of the bare minimum of a bedroom, is somewhere to rest your head, so some sort of pillow. So I'm not a fancy guy. I'm going to go right ahead and just paint sort of a pile of straw just so I can oh. just so I can and this long brush is great if you have an itch on your back which I do right now I just remember that you can mix colors to make other other colors that's a great point I was looking for gray and I almost panicked but that's a really great point for our viewers at home this is something I didn't discover until very late maybe embarrassingly late into my painting career is that you can make two colors sometimes make all the time make a different color so if you don't necessarily you know you don't necessarily need to buy purple out of a tube I was I was going broke buying purple paints but then I realized I had a surplus of red and blue you mix those babies together you got yourself some purple shirtless I is am I right to find the center point uh, to start the painting you so know, there's no middle. there's no right or wrong answers, but just coincidentally, that is what I did. So oh, good. we'll go ahead and say you're right. Yeah. Um, I've always wanted to live in a pyramid, so I'm doing kind of a pyra pyramidal shape. Ah, oh, nice. But the, the angle is going to be a big challenge. Who wouldn't want to live in a pyramid? <sighs> Seriously. The one th the one catch with living in a pyramid is that you have to be dead and like a pharaoh. But right. in, the, in painting, the beauty is you could be alive, young and living in a pyramid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got my straw pile. I'm just gonna add a little bit of sort of orange tone to it. Just standard hay is what you, you like to sleep yeah, in? Yeah, just sort of like what you would find in a horse horse barn. Oh. I sort of sleep in a pile of hay and leaves over in the corner of the studio. You can't see it right now, but it's just right over there. So. Oh. I couldn't sleep in hay. I have really bad allergies, so it would probably be Probably be fatal for me if I try to do that. You know that. what the funny thing is? I kind of do too. I should maybe think about stopping that, but we'll say that. You know what though? Because this is a this is painting, and um, you could make it however you want. This is maybe we'll call it histamine-free hay, or huh. you know whatever gives you the the sniffles and stuff. Okay, so I got my hay pile here. And let's see, we'll go ahead and I, I think it's kind of fun to have different sort of uh, different sort of levels to a home, different kind of platforms and little um, lofts and things. So we'll go ahead and just create some different different floors to the place. And we'll get sort of our hay area here. Our hay nook. Oh yeah, nook is great. People are, are mostly familiar with the breakfast nook, but you can have a bedroom. Yeah, nooks can be anything. That's a great point. Yeah. Since when did breakfast corner the market on, on nooks? Yeah. I really don't understand it, and I don't I don't think it's right. So yeah. I'm glad you raised that issue. My, my painting's going to be at night, if that's all right. Oh, absolutely. Just uh, some stars up here while I think about what I want to be in my room. Sometimes I send out sort of like a novelty Christmas card. Or postcard rather when I'm traveling and it says um, me painting at night but the, the joke is that it's just pure black <laughs> there's nothing on there so everyone has a good laugh about that that's good all right so I've got my sort of platform here and I'm gonna give it I'm you know what I'm gonna make this sort of a series of series of crow's nests you have to climb up to And since I'm already, I've already got 
sort of a sky blue um, motif going on in the background. I think I'm going to have my bedroom actually be in the in the up in the sky, up in the clouds. The sun's a little bright in the morning. That's the only downside to living in the clouds. Yeah. But a lot of people tell me I have my head in the clouds anyway, so I might as well put my, my whole dang body up there. You kind of have to to you know access the imagination for painting. Right. right. Yeah. And otherwise you'd be decapitated. So. Yeah. I got enough problems, I don't need that. Okay, I'm hemming myself in a little bit here. My gray is a little inconsistent, but I think that that sort of is kind of expressing how the light can play off the surface of my pyramid. Not to be morbid, but you were talking about pyramids and stuff like that, would there be, we're talking about sort of our living resting places. Have right. you given any thought to your final resting place? I what? have, I have. And I mean, with the pyramid, it's like you said, there could be some sort of alert when I pass away, which I obviously intend to do in bed. Right. And then they could just wall it up. Oh, and then perfect. It, you know, it's like a monument to me. It's like, you know, I'll probably raise the property value to have like an authentic pyramid. And it's like a time capsule for people in the future. It's sort of like the human equivalent of those mouse traps where like you don't have to look at the mouse. It just sort of <laughs> yeah. goes in and it's you hear a snap and you know, okay, he's passed. We'll, we'll bury him. So my house could be like Chateau humane kill or so, what are those called cruelty free cruelty free a cruelty yeah. free home it wouldn't yeah. the, the only big difference i guess is that it doesn't suddenly kill you it doesn't lure you in and then snap your neck it's just right. you die peacefully and there you go no fuss no muss <laughs> okay so i'm up in the clouds here and this is i'm excited about where my room is going but it is going to put me Sort of far away from my friends and loved ones and my, my wife, of course. So I'm going to give myself, just in case I want to travel, I'm going to give myself a platform that holds my car. I, I forgot that when you mix colors, they ultimately all become brown. Mm, yeah, that's I something that's I learned the hard way. The color wheel says. For the longest oh time, I tried to sort of rebel against the color wheel, but it doesn't lie. It, yeah. I just hated how it was tried to, you know, be so um, bossy about what colors had to be, but certain things you can't get around. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add my car here, but of course it's in the sky, so we'll kind of make it sort of a sky car. Like I'm actually painting a house. Yeah, that's the nice thing about um, about painting is that. There have been times when I've been priming canvases and I spilled over onto the wall and it ended up looking kind of good. So oh, nice. Just... That's what Pollock used to do. He just used to wait until something spilled and work from there. You could say I'm the new Pollock. Oh, I have been saying that. Oh, and I won't stop. And nobody has corrected me yet. Well, I encourage you and all of you at home to keep saying it. I'm the new, Shirtless Painter is the new Pollock. Sorry, uh, who's the actor who... Ed Harris. Ed Harris. Yeah, Sorry, Ed Harris. Your time. You've had a good run. And the real Pollock, of course. Pollock, the role of Pollock changes hands every few years. It's kind of like president. Yeah. First it was Pollock himself, then Ed Harris, and now me. Can you believe it? Okay, so I'm going to give myself sort of just a nice station wagon up here. I'm actually going to incorporate the little line of the platform to be sort of a little mo striped molding on the car here. Mm. I'm going to give it sort of a stripe like those um, cups that you get in the mall um, food court that have sort of the, the airbrush stripe on them. I always like the cups that were like turquoise and yeah, yeah. orange and had the seagulls flying away in formation. Oh, yeah. Make yeah. you think of the beach when you're in the mall. Yeah, exactly. This is sort of a nod to the mall mall cups of our of our past, of our youth. All right. I think I've created some sort of effect. Hmm. Okay, so I haven't added wheels to my car yet, but you know what? That kind of works out because what good are wheels going to do? Um, what good are wheels going to do in the sky? So I'm going to go ahead and add, instead of wheels, since we have to fly around, I'm going to go ahead and just add little cherubs. Those will be sort of the, the 
what sort of lifts me and flies me around. So I'll, I'll just mix together some little cherub color here. Oh boy. Let's get their little chubby faces in there. Mm. One idea I wanted to test out for my ideal bedroom is like, like you say, why you have to sleep in a bed? You can have, hey, what if we live more like other animals and like your bed was like in the top corner of the room? See, like a nest? I like the sound of that quite a bit. I would love to live in a nest. So I'm gonna have like a nest. It's made out of like a cottony material and it's just kind of up on the ceiling. It looks like a big cotton ball. Who wouldn't want to sleep in a big cotton ball? It'd be I mean, comfortable. Honestly, all beds are beds at on their best day are are a poor imitation for a big cotton ball. All yeah. beds are just wish they could be a big cotton ball. Yeah. I don't know why the cotton ball companies don't get into making beds. Yeah, I mean, come on, Johnson and Johnson. Yeah. Johnson and Johnson, get it together, you guys. What are your brothers or just two guys like us who happen to have the same name? Who knows? <laughs> All right, so we got our little cherub faces, and of course we'll get a little mm. some rosy cheeks. Cherub cheeks. And we'll give our little cherubs some eyes. I'm gonna have purple carpeting on the on the floor. Ooh, very nice. I'm thinking about getting carpeting in here, but it would just be crusted over with paint. I think it would maybe mm. be a disaster. It would look cool. It would definitely look cool. It might actually turn into sort of a hardwood floor situation over time. Sure. Oh my god, that's right. It'd be great acoustics. Just adding the little cherubic um, curls on my cherub here. I think purple and orange go kind of, kind of complementary colors, so I could have like a an orange couch. Oh yeah, those go great together. Imagine an, or, an orange couch that was actually made out of orange peel. It was the texture, it was, it was the feel of it, and... and it smelled it was, great. Man. It smelled great. Yeah. If you ever got hungry, you could just sneak up a little peel and take a, squeeze a little bite, or stick a straw in there and just sip right out of it. And it's gonna be kind of like a freeform couch, like just sort of a blob that, you know, four to yeah. six people could, could all yeah, hang exactly. out on. You could sort of lose yourself yeah. in there. Yeah. Flesh out these wings, or feather out these wings. Okay. The back wall is gonna be like a nice, striking kind of green Color of trees, the color of money. Envy. Envy. Yep. I'm envious of that wall. I wish I had a green <laughs> wall. Okay. Oh, I just realized what the water's for. I can. I don't have to. Oh use, yeah. Uh, no, please feel oh, free to yeah. rinse off. Oh, I was running out of brushes for, for oh, each color. Oh yeah. No, feel free to rinse it off. Sometimes I sneak a sip, but it's, you shouldn't do that. It's, it's, Is that good for you? I don't think it's great for you. It's definitely not fatal, though, because if it were, I would have been long dead. They would have had me in my mouse trap a long time ago. Ooh. All right, so I got my car here. I'm gonna go ahead and just add another platform. And you know what? I've done enough white columns. I'm gonna go ahead and add some different colors here. I'll go ahead and mix up a nice well, since we're talking about my jealousy over that green wall, I'm going to go ahead and add a green column. Is it kind of like cooking and painting where you're supposed to, you know, like the experienced cook will clean up as he goes? So you're left with a finished piece of work and a clean work space? I make a total mess. Yeah, yeah. don't worry about that. Yeah. I leave just a disaster. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. So feel free to make a mess. Good, good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a nice, maybe we'll do sort of a round column up here. And I think this is going to be where I put my swimming pool. Oh yeah, you got a pool in yours. Yep, I'm just just sort of begun construction here. So it's really just going to be a big kind of bowl shape on a stick. Maybe we could even experiment with letting that water just sort of run down. See, look at that time saver. Oh, nice. I could be off, you know. 
catching up with friends, checking emails. I'm not big on emails, but if I was, this would just be more time for me. I'm gonna start giving the idea of like what it will be like a thousand years in the future. So I'll have like my mummified dog ah, yes. standing watch under my nest. There we go. Yeah, every good home needs a good dog, even if it's a mummy. Yep. I've said it time and time again. There he goes, he's sitting at attention. <sighs> I'm touch out some of this purple. With the small, wow, what a small brush. Yep, they, come in all, they come in all sizes. Brushes are like people. Some are skinny, some are fat, some are wide, some are covered in water. Some are dead. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the water to my pool. And it's sort of just like a big teacup or a little coffee cup, but it's one that I'm going to spend many a summer lounging in. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it gets hot up here this close to the sun, so. All right, I make a strong choice of black. I wish I hadn't have run out of space because I would like to have some sort of balcony out here. Ah, in front yes. of it, but painting myself into a corner. Quite literally. I'm gonna add just kind of a fun inner tube in this pool, because why not? Um and we'll make it Make it sort of a goose, goose inner tube here. There we go. Okay. Just add this sort of beak on my goose. You got a goose in your room? It's a goose inner tube. It's in the pool area. But I'm looking forward to uh, spending some time in there. Yeah, I have the goose. Oh boy. All right, well, now Haley, I don't mean to scare anyone here, but it's that time in the show. Oh good. <laughs> where we reveal that it has a twist ending. And that twist is that Haley and I are going to finish each other's paintings. Are you scared yet? You shouldn't be, it's gonna be fun. People will say they saw it coming, but they totally didn't. You didn't, you totally didn't. Liars. All right, let's do it. All right, I've, I've left to you an interesting task. Ah, and same to you. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is like a Dr. Seuss, like, Yeah, it's Lorax sort of seuss wow. Yeah, and I, I love what you got going on here. This almost feels like sort of, um, it almost feels hieroglyphic, which is appropriate for uh, the, uh, the pyramid theme. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna dive right in, and I wanna do justice to your, to your great room that you have so far. So Thanks. I'm gonna just try to add things that I think would be good to have in yeah. a, in a Bedroom. I am missing things. Like I focus more on the the space, but mm. the contents I, I fell short. Well, let's see if we could add some contents yeah. here. So right off the bat, whenever I see a sloped area like this, mm -hmm. I'm thinking skateboarding. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some cool skateboarders in there, and we'll just go ahead and I'm gonna have a guy up here or a girl. Sort of, Thank you, uh, please. <laughs> Yeah. These are non gendered girls, houses. Girls can skateboard. We know that to be true. I'm just going to give you some shrubbery, some greenery. Ooh, yes. You know? That's a great call. I can't believe actually that I didn't think of that at first, but every so good like, home needs a little greenery. You blend in the, uh, you know, you have the stalks where your stuff is, and then it's kind of mm -hmm. hidden in the, in the foliage. That's great. Time permitting. Okay. Is there, are there any uh, uh, features to your house? Any contents that you'd like to add? The one thing I don't need a lot of is shirt storage because I don't wear a lot of shirts. No hangers? Yeah, I don't really need too many hangers. Do you I hang your pants or do you pile them in a drawer? I just sort of pile them, but I wipe all my paint on my pants. So oh, yeah. 
they ended up they end up sort of sticking you know sticking to things sometimes. All right, so I've got my skateboarder's upper torso. I don't know if you can tell what that is yet, but it's going somewhere. And we'll give our friend some blue pants here. Yeah, I'm imagining that my uh, pyramid is like pre-rusted, so it's like oh that yes. Kind of, uh, that kind of feels sort of like it. the Barclay Center in yeah. New York. Yeah, exactly. For yeah. Brooklyn Nets play. Maybe I can get Jay Z to paint rust on mine too. Jay Z, if you ever want to come onto the show and paint rust on just literally anything, we'd yeah. we'd love to have you. So I'm adding a couple of struts for you to hang your drying paint spattered pants. Oh great. That'll be a huge asset to me. Yeah. Okay, I'm just adding. I'm a, I'm having my skateboarder do. See how it goes, but I'm having him do sort of a him or her do sort of a kick flip. Just a nice eyes. Yeah, I'd totally ollie off of my uh, pyramid. Yeah, if I knew who, how. you know who wouldn't want to? Yeah. We'll give him a mohawk too. Why not? He's a pretty cool dude. He could skate. You know what? I think you're selling yourself short with the uh, the hay. I'm gonna give you a pillow. I won't put you it in what? the hay. I'll just put it on the sides, like if you. I appreciate it. The There's certain things you just don't want to buy for yourself, but no. that when you get them, you're very appreciative. It's of. bad luck to buy yourself a pillow. Is it, it has really? to be given. Yeah. Wow. I guess they sort of tell you that when you get married, you want something borrowed, something blue, and it's bad luck to buy a pillow. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you know what? He might not be landing this kickflip because the board it doesn't look like it, but he tried, and that's all that matters. Yeah. I'm going to give you some a cactus. Oh, nice. Very nice. I always admire the cactus. They're able to sort of pull it together, survive, even in pretty harsh, um, pretty harsh climbs. Absolutely. And it's what they make cactus cooler from. Yep. Couldn't have cactus cooler without our friend the cactus. Okay, great. So we got our skateboarder here. And in keeping with an Egyptian theme here, I'm going to go ahead and add sort of a Sort of a queen of the of the pyramid, and I can think of no one who is I, well. There's only one person who is the queen in my life, and that is my wife. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort of add her. What's your wife's name? Darden. Darden. Yeah, yeah. My wife Darden. Okay, so. Going to depict her as sort of a sarcophagus, but the, again, that does not mean she's she's passed. This is just sort of. We'll say this is where she likes to sleep. So maybe she's asleep inside here. A living sarcophagus. A living sarcophagus. You've heard of a living will. I mean, it seems like a no-brainer to have a living yeah. sarcophagus. You know, I created my pyramid at night, so. I think yours should be in the daytime when the birds are out. Oh, so yeah. Absolutely. We'll just have some of them going off into the distance. You know, I've gotten into some trouble inviting birds into my home, and that's partly why I chose to, chose the sky, because birds, when you live in the sky, birds are always invited. I'm adding a little tension, too, because the goose, like, its wings have been clipped and it can't fly. Okay, so I've got my sarcophagus. It's sort of gilded here. And I'm going to go ahead and add some kind of... Uh, Blue stripes on the side. I think I'm going to add some buttons so you can raise and lower the platforms. Oh, uh, uh, that's a great idea. There's like the, there's the controls over here. That way if you're asleep and you need to get up to your car, you can just hit a button or vice versa. And of course you got to be able to get down to the ground to go to the store and stuff. Yeah. These are definitely within my skill set. Small red dots. Small red dots. They're not satisfying to discover like on your body, but they're very satisfying to paint. Yep. I have to say. That's for sure. Okay, great. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my wife's face here. Add the sun going down in the distance. And we'll go ahead and add just some sleeping eyes. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, this is just, you know, just where she, just when she needs some shut eye. Sort of 
I'll let her get some sleep. Our son's been kind of driving us crazy because he's been missing for a long time, as you, a lot of you may know. So if anyone has any, if anyone has any word on where my son might be. What does he look like? He's a cute little boy. He is shirtless. He's got sort of behavioral problems, which is, you know, he, the reason I'm not too worried about him being missing is because I do, he, he is in the buildings somewhere. I hear him in the walls and I leave out food for him and I, I hear him scrambling around. So that's why, that's why I haven't been too panicked about it, but I would love to sort of get him back if anybody has any information on where he is within the building. And you know what, speaking of my son, I'm going to go ahead and add, just in case he should decide to come back, I'm going to go ahead and add a nice little bed for my son here, just so he knows he has a place to, to come home to. So I'll go ahead and give him a Give him a bit, a little pillow here, right on the side. I'm gonna put a telescope in your sleeping chamber. Ooh, that's really something I've always wanted, but on a painter's salary, it's uh, it's tough to afford. But in painting, you could afford anything. Yeah, anything you can paint, you can own. Exactly. To me, it just seems like a shortcut to to to. Um, materializing what, what you want in life. Just paint it. I feel like I'm pretty close to, to, to being done here, but I'm just gonna cap things off by adding a nice moon out. Oh, I forgot to do the moon, thank you. I got comets and stars over there, but. And we'll just put the moon right up here. And moons are pretty easy. It's just sort of a circle. With, it's basically like a, like a pizza. In fact, I'll just sort of utilize some of the blue in here and have sort of a, you know, to quote Pink Floyd, I'll have the, the light side of the moon and, of course, the other side of the moon. Mm. I believe that was the name of that album. Sound off in the comments if I got that wrong. There's the moon just kind of smiling here. I really think our styles mesh pretty well. Uh, you know what? I was thinking the exact same thing. I think this was a great, great twist. I was nervous when you told me the uh, the twist ending, but I think it's turned out pretty nice. And I do apologize for spoiling, for, for the spoiler, but I think it was worth it for our audience at home. Yeah. We got our dark side of the moon. The last thing that sort of this is this is asking for here is we got the moon looking down at you know someone who's honestly doing a pretty sick skateboard trick uh, over the top of a pyramid. Mm. I think that deserves some credit. So I'm just gonna add sort of a speech bubble here of the moon. Oh, that's good. Sort of commenting on what the skateboarder's doing. And we're gonna have the, we're gonna have the moon saying, sick. I'm putting some uh, fake eggs on the ground underneath your, uh, mm. your room. People can sit on them, relax. How do we sign these? How is the... Uh, well, since we both worked on both of them, I think that's a great point. Well, I do like to add a thumbprint just for... Oh, uh, yeah. For, uh, How about to save time, we'll just both add our thumbprints. Perfect. I'm using pink over here. I'm going to use this turquoise blue. There. For thousands of years, people will know who did that. Great. Here, you want to swap? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. And signed. Great. Beautiful. Well, I think we did a great job working together. I, th I This is sort of ended up, this, we talked a lot about corpses and death, and it, I think it's fitting because this ended up being sort of an exquisite corpse. And I would oh, say yeah. it's exquisite. Um, mm. So I think we did a great job, um, and I think we each deserve a nice little after-dinner Osmond. Oh, so. yeah. I couldn't wait for this part. Thanks for joining us today on The Shirtless Painter. I want to thank my guest, Haley Joel Osment. Thank you, Shirtless. For coming by. 
check out Haley and this season of Silicon Valley. And he'll also be on the new Hulu show, Future Man. Isn't that right, Haley? Haley?